Thank you for joining me today. I am in the book of Jeremiah chapter 6. This is a passage of scripture that has made a, a very significant impact upon my own life and I, I hope that you will find it to be impactful upon yours as well. It's not necessarily a pleasant passage of scripture because it tells why Israel, or Judah in this case, went into captivity in Babylon. The, the prophet Jeremiah is told by God that, that <clears throat> there is a reason that the people are under judgment. He tells them, and listen to the, to the text here. Notice it says, Hear, O earth, not Judah, not Jeremiah, not the king, hear, O earth, everyone. Behold, I am bringing disaster upon this people, the fruit of their devices, because they have not paid attention to my words, and as for my law, they have rejected it. The important thing that we need to understand here and why this has made such an impact upon my own life is because we have in our world today just taken a very cursory and very superficial view of the scripture. The people of Judah went into captivity because they failed to listen to God's word. We, te we teach in the Christian church about revelation, that God has revealed himself. According to Romans chapter 1, he revealed himself in all of creation. According to Ecclesiastes, he has put eternity in our hearts. We know that there is something beyond this particular world. Those are general revelation. But he has also specifically given his word that he wrote through Moses, through the prophets, through um, <clears throat> all of the Old Testament uh, writings. Uh, most of them are prophets, admittedly, some historians, even into the New Testament. And all of the New Testament, of course, is given to us by the work of the apostles. So the important thing for us to understand is that God has revealed himself. But we, we have neglected to listen to what he said. We're not alone. The ancients did the same thing. The people in the northern kingdom of Israel rejected God's word, went after other gods, and they lost sight excuse me, of who the God of Israel was. Pardon me. And then the same thing happened among the southern kingdom, the kingdom of Judah. They did exactly the same thing. And that's why Jeremiah here in this particular passage says that they failed to listen to my words. Did you catch that? Let me read it again. Hear, O earth, the reason I'm bringing disaster, because they have not paid attention to my words. Now notice that it says my words, plural. It doesn't say my word, generic. They haven't paid attention to my words, the details. And because of that, they ended up in judgment, in captivity. <clears throat> Excuse me, in our day, we need to understand that judgment is imminent in our day because we haven't paid attention to the word of God and the details of that word. It's right and it's proper for us to dig in, to dive into the scripture. I'm not talking about getting into certain sectarian dogmas and, and those kinds of things. Those will come out, of course. But we need to take seriously the details and the things that God says specifically in his word. That's the point that Jeremiah is making to the people. And he's telling that to the whole world. Hear, O earth, remember, he says. You need to pay attention to the word of God. And that's why this particular video blog continues to encourage you as I try to make it a practice myself of, God, of getting into the scripture systematically myself. You know, when I first became a believer and realized the importance of the scripture, 
I thought by reading through the scripture once, I was putting myself in very elite category that I've read the whole of the scripture. And probably that's true. But, but since then, he has made it clear that I need to continue to be in the scripture, looking at the details, considering them, meditating upon them. And that's why David tells us in Psalm 19 that the one, or excuse me, Psalm 1, that the person who is godly, the person who responds to God's truth, is one who meditates upon his word day and night. I urge you, if this is not a habit of yours, make it a habit. He's the one, God is the one who has revealed himself to us, yes, through creation but more specifically through his revealed truth in the scripture. Father, I pray that your mercy would be poured out upon us, that we would hear your voice in the scripture. Thank you for the illuminating work of the Holy Spirit in each of our lives. And I thank you that every word in its original language was, uh, was written and overseen and superintended by the Spirit of God. And so, Father, encourage us and refresh us and help us to have your perspective, the right perspective on the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.